Hey everyone, welcome back to my ACF series. In this video, I'm going to run you through the options page setup for advanced custom fields. Now advanced custom fields has the functionality to let you have your own page on the left hand side of the screen. So uh, you click on a menu item and you can have as many options as you want in there and they are global options. So you can use them throughout your theme. They're not specifically associated with one post or page. And that can come in handy for a lot of different things. For example, if you had uh, a specific thing that you wanted to switch on or switch off on your website, like, or change the color. So if you wanted the theme to be dark or light, then you could make it so that the option is actually set within your own options page. Um, in a real world use case, I've set up uh, a contact detail options page. So where I can put in all the contact details like the phone number, address, Google map, all of that sort of stuff in the options page. And then I can display it wherever I want and on as many pages as I want in the WordPress theme. Let's, uh, let's just create one and, and you can see how it works. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go into your custom fields and let's just create a new group for this tutorial. We'll just call it options and publish it. And then I'm going to create, uh, I'm just going to do phone number or just phone and address. So two basic text fields and I will update it. And then I want to assign it to the options page. But as you'll see here, the options page doesn't exist. And that's because we need to tell ACF in the code that we want an options page. And there are two ways to go about that. So if you go into your code editor and you go to the bottom of functions.php, we're gonna do a check to see if a function exists. And, and the reason why we do this check is to make sure that advanced custom fields is activated as a plugin. So we'll do if function underscore exists and the function is called ACF add options page. Now, if this function exists, then we just want to do ACF add options page. We're going to run this function and that's basically going to create the functionality for an options page. So after you save it and refresh, you should see now that there is an options page at the bottom of the screen. There aren't any fields associated with it yet. Uh, however, if we go into custom fields and we go into that options group that we created earlier, we should be able to go down to our options page now and it will automatically allow us to choose options. So we'll update it. And now if we go to the options page, we should see phone and address. So that's cool. But what if we wanted to have uh, kind of different pages for different parts of our options? Well, we can create sub pages. So sub pages are a bit more powerful because they allow you to kind of separate the options as opposed to having them all on one options page. So to do that, we just need to add some more parameters to this function and then add some other functions after that. But the first one is going to be, let's just call it, we're going to call the main menu item. We're going to call it uh, website options. So within, within this uh, add options page function, we're going to create an array. And within that array, we're going to do a couple of things. We'll firstly do a page title, and that will be the page title of the page that it gets redirected to. So we'll call it contact, oh sorry, not contact, website settings. We'll then do a menu title, which will reflect the menu on the left-hand side. We'll just call that uh, website settings again. We can then do a menu slug and this will be the slug at the top of the page here in the in the address bar. So we'll make that oops. We'll make that uh, website hyphen settings. So keep it lowercase and just use hyphen or underscore for that. Then capability that will allow us to choose a spe specific capability uh, so that WordPress users, depending on their level, whether they're an editor or an admin, can access this. In this case, I'm just going to do edit, po edit, edit underscore posts, and that will ensure that an editor or an administrator can access th these settings. And then I'll hit save. We'll go and refresh, 
and I can't access that options page anymore because it doesn't exist but you will now see website settings there and it has a cog there as well we, we can actually change that cog to a different image so the the uh, the way we can do that is if we go back into that function and we do icon underscore URL and we can make it whatever we want out of the WordPress dash icons so if you go to the WordPress dash icons website just Google WordPress dash icons and this page should come up and you'll see all these different options here you can use as many, whatever you want but I'm going to click on the spanner here and I'm going to grab the CSS for that spanner and then I'm just going to use that as the icon URL if we go back to our dashboard and hit refresh you should see now that it's changed to the spanner so now that we have our website settings page there we'll go to custom fields we'll go to the options group we created earlier and we will assign it to website settings so we'll just click on update and then go to website settings and now we have phone and address okay so I'm going to put in uh, just any number and I'm just going to put any address in and I'm going to hit save or update now that is saved in the database globally not associated with a page or a post which means we can easily grab it and put it anywhere on our website so let's go into our header for example and we want to put this in just at the top anywhere all we have to do is php the underscore field and if you go back into custom fields we just want to grab the slug or the id of the field which in this case is just phone the field phone and then we just have to pass one more argument through which is options and that is telling ACF that we want to grab the phone field from the options table save that and we'll then refresh it and you should see now that that phone number comes up maybe I'll move it into the front page somewhere just at the top there cool all right so we have it there and then what if we want to have it on the contact page as well well we'll just go into uh, the well the contact page doesn't actually have a template associated with it so you can easily excuse me you can easily create a template for the contact page so let's just go and just do template contact.php template name contact go into edit page and assign contact as the template and maybe we need to just copy a boilerplate of a page so that it doesn't just come up blank there we go and then if we go to our front page we should be able to grab that the field function and put it in our contact page as well so if we go to our contact page now it should come up at the top there but it's not coming up on every other page uh, obviously this that's not exactly what how you would use it you'd probably use a global option in your header or your footer but uh, there are other other things you can do you can obviously do like a true or false thing so let's just say uh, dark mode and make it a boolean Oh, sorry make it a true or false and let's update that go into website settings click on dark mode okay and if we go into the header of our website and we go into the head up here we could do PHP if get underscore field dark mode options so if it is dark mode in the options then let's uh, let's do something let's let's maybe make the let's add in a style sheet there or an inline style sheet and make the body background black and we'll make it important as well so I'll switch dark mode on or off we'll go to the website and yeah it's normal but then if I switch it on update it refresh there you go it's black background so you can see how uh, the options page can be of use now there is just one more thing that I want to show you and that's if you want to have multiple sub option pages not just the one options page 
So you might want to have website settings and underneath there you might want to have phone settings, uh, page settings, whatever. You can easily do that by going into functions.php again and creating a sub page. When you create a sub page, it kind of takes away the functionality of the main page, but it allows you to then have multiple pages underneath it. So let's do ACF underscore add underscore options underscore sub underscore page. And then within that function, we'll do an array and the array accepts the same kind of things page underscore title. So I'll make it, you know, uh, contact settings. And then I will do the menu title. So the menu title will be maybe contact. And then the last one will be telling it which page or which options page is the actual parent. So parent slug. And that is obviously this one up here. So that is the slug there. And we'll paste that in and save it. We'll then copy that and do another one called design settings. Make the menu title design and leave website settings like that. We'll save it and then we will refresh. Can't access that page anymore because it, it doesn't exist. It now has multiple sub pages. Go to the admin and as you can see, if I highlight over website settings and I click on contact and I click on design, they're two separate options now. Website settings is not an options page per se anymore. When you click on website settings, so let's go back up to posts or something. If we click on website settings, it doesn't actually, uh, well, it goes to contact as the first one. So what you can do is I believe there is a way that if you didn't want it to be clicked on to go to the top most child, you can actually just do redirect false. And that will mean that you can't, I'm not sure why you'd want to do this, but if you refresh and click on website settings now, uh, oh, that's a bit strange. Redirect false seems to be creating, uh, keeping the website settings as a specific page of its own and then having multiple sub pages. Okay, so that, sorry, I, I mistook what redirect false was. So redirect false will actually make it so that website settings is an options page itself. But if you make it redirect true, then that is gonna kind of take away website settings as an option and allow only the sub pages to be option pages. Okay, so that makes sense to me. So obviously you'll need to go back to custom fields and then go into options and then maybe change the the options page to say design settings for the dark mode thing. So I'll just remove phone and address from there. And then I'll go and create another one called contact group and add phone and address to there. And assign that to the options page for the contact settings. There we go, we'll go back to the dashboard and now we have contact, which has phone and address and then design dark mode. And as you can see, if I untick dark mode, it will go light. If I click it, it will go dark. So that's basically uh, ACF's version of being able to create your own option pages. So, I mean, obviously there's a way to do it without ACF, but ACF make it so, so simple. As you can see, you can do it in about five minutes. Um, so that just backs up why ACF is such a powerful plugin for web developers. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment below. I hope this has brought you value and I will uh, see you in the next video soon. Cheers.